You see, every year, towards the end of the year, 29 December, 30 December, 31 December, you start getting messages about New Year resolutions, right? People say, make your resolutions. I tell you, you've got to make these resolutions for Ramadan. You must come out of Ramadan in a way that you're not the same person who entered Ramadan. Ramadan is like a dip tank. You got into it, disinfected, completely gone out, sanitized. Not satanized, but sanitized. You see, Satan was tied up, right? You come in and you, you come out. And when you're out of Ramadan, you should feel like you're a changed person, just like Hajj. When you go for Hajj, you come out of Hajj forgiven. What is the sign of an accepted Hajj? The fact that your life has changed. Your life hasn't changed. Probably the Hajj, the Farad was done, but the deeper benefits were not achieved. Same applies to Ramadan. What is the reward of Ramadan? Total forgiveness. That's what Allah says. Whoever fasts Ramadan with accountability and hoping for a reward from Allah with belief and conviction. And whoever stands in prayer in Ramadan with belief and conviction, all the sins, the preceding sins of that person will be wiped out completely, totally forgiven. Just like Hajj, whoever goes for Hajj comes back cleaner than the day they were born by their mothers. What do we mean by cleaner? The day you were born, you had a clean slate. No good deeds, no bad deeds, right? But when you went for Hajj and you sought forgiveness of Allah, you came back clean, meaning all your good deeds are still there. They, they won't be wiped out. It's not like Allah says, okay, you did Hajj, let's wipe out everything, start again, clean slate. I don't want a clean slate. I want a clean slate filled with goodness already that I've done. And I want Allah to accept it. That's what happens when you go for Hajj. So there is a difference between the two. In Ramadan, you achieve the same. But you've got to take it seriously. 